Well, today I have to work at this bar in Lorain, Ohio. The cable guy working here today. They're putting a uh, new cable to the new new television sets. we have here is it's a, a beer bottle box and they keep the cans and a, a beer and we put this compressor in a year and a month ago and what happened was last weekend last like Thursday the condenser fan motor and it's a good one too it's, you are it, the condenser fan motor failed and head pressure build real high and it broke the piston rods in the compressor. So I just I bought a new new fan motor and this is made in Korea. Okay. But US motors. Well we're gonna change the compressor. I just reclaimed the refrigerant. And uh, I have to unsweat the press support now.
Okay, Richard's off. Make sure that this um, nylon is in. Don't you love when you get into a building with ancient technology and you got to redo everything? <laughs> That's your paycheck, though. It's a good thing. Not really. It's work for we you. We get paid by the job. Yeah. We don't get paid by the hour. The longer we take, the less money we're making on that job. Yeah. But you're right, it, some people don't even have a job, so. Well, there's there's a lot of systems around, refrigeration systems now, that have refrigerant 22 in them. Yeah. And they're eliminating that. And the way they're eliminating it is they're raising the price up very high. There's a lot of refrigeration air conditioning guys that are afraid to change the, the systems over. So they're buying the, the Freon 22 still at the supply houses at extremely high rates and uh, they can't make any money hardly on it when they sell to a customer and uh, they're just afraid it does, and there's nothing to changing it over you know you change yeah. the, add some oil and uh, put new refrigerant in there but some people well, are some people aren't afraid of switching it over they're afraid of the work doing it <laughs> uh, that, that probably I don't know I run into that a lot at our job yeah do you? Like, some well, people will go out to a house and say, oh, there's no line of sight, there's trees in the way. Just because they know they have to do a lot of work to bury a cable from far from the house. That's because they don't own the business. Yeah. Yeah, I own the business, so it's a paycheck to me. Yeah. You know, and if you if you work for somebody, you don't want to have to do extra work. You know, you want the easiest, you want to get home at 430. You don't want to have to work till 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah, that's human nature, right? Unfortunately. Because then my boss sends me out there, and yeah. I'm the type, I'll do the work. Yeah. So I say, oh, yeah, there's line of sight, and well, I, I do the hard work. You but. see, when you put that extra effort in, 
your 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 boss is going to appreciate that. Oh yeah, definitely. You're the one that's going to get the raise, and the other guy's mm -hmm. going to get fired. You know. Yeah. It's good to always put the extra effort in, and the customer customers see that too. They're glad to have you come to the job next time, rather than the other guy that doesn't want to do the work. This music's relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when they put fast music on and you end up doing your job real fast and you get done real soon. <laughs> so I put it on. Uh oh, he was listening. Fast pace so he gets to work fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to cycle, bicycle, and I used to, I had earphones in there. And I was listening to like a fast Led Zeppelin song. I found myself wearing myself out. <laughs> just like, I had to stop. They did this study, they they increased the music to get higher efficiency out of the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she get these uh these rubber pads, these things. They're better than knee pads and they're cushy. And like, I don't know if you work outside in gravel and stuff like that? Oh, we work all over the place, but... Roofs and hot roofs and stuff like that? Only thing about hot that is... wet that roofs? We're moving around so many different spots, we're not sitting in the same spot all the time. But we've got to move a lot. Well, it's so easy. we got knee pads for if like I, basements and if I'm working on If I'm working in a gravel, you know, near an air conditioning unit, uh -huh. and it's real big chunks, they hurt. Uh, I'll put two pads on top of each other, like $30 each. It, it's... I thought... It's... it's it helps your knees, you know. I, my knees are. Yeah, yeah. I hate. At the end of the day, your knees hurt. Feet. You know, you need that. Crawl spaces are the worst for me. You need that shot of whiskey and beer at the end of the day <laughs> to make the pain go out of your knees, you know, and your back. Definitely. That's why you got to find your favorite tavern, you know. <laughs> Only if they give you free drinks every now and then. <laughs> not listening no more. <laughs> oh, Problem is, is after you give him the bill, he charged you double for the drinks, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this one's free, but this one's double the price. <laughs> After a, a really hard day, you put in 10 hours and you're exhausted and your back hurts, that's when I'll have an ice cold beer and uh, a shot maybe, you know, just to... Uh, I don't even do the shot, just a beer or two. Well, you're not that old yet, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, the shot for me was when I was younger. Yeah. They tend to come and go. If you stop somewhere you have to work for, you know, a burger or something and a beer, that shot makes all the, the sore back go away. Yeah. I don't drink that much. Maybe once a week I'll do that, you know. Well, when I was 14, the first time I ever drank, <laughs> we got the college kids. What's that? four cases of little pigs. You know what little pigs are, right? No. The real small little green beers. Oh. Back in the day, I don't even think they sell them anymore. But they were really strong beers. They were real small, but they were real potent. And uh, me and this other guy drank all four cases. 
<laughs> you don't know any better. Oh my god. Talk about sicker than a dog. What I did with my son, I didn't want him to find out in the backseat of a car, you know, with a bunch of guys, you know, getting drunk, you know, his limits, you know. Yeah. So I made sure, you know, when he was a young teen, I'd made sure he had a beer here and there, you know, just to uh, know his limits, you know. And he, he never, you know, I just didn't want, you know, him to be in a car of, of young guys getting wrapped around the tree, you know, and that sort of thing. It's my worst fear. Yeah. I, I want him, want him to. I got a while yet before that happens with my kids driving. <laughs> Not too much well, longer. Can, about yeah. six years, five yeah. years. They can be safe, but the other kids' uh, driving is can be the problem. You know. You just yep. gotta. If you teach them their limits, is what the whole thing. We don't. You don't teach them their limits, then they don't know any better. You know. Yeah. So where's, what's new in the TV world? There's always something new in the TV world. Right now it's 4K, 4K. which is four times 1080 resolution. Oh yeah. But it's pretty it's nice. too early in its stages. I wouldn't even waste my money on it right now. I, you know, I went out and bought the uh, the 3D t big screen TV. Yeah. I used it a couple times and that was it, you know. That was a waste of money for the extra, paying for the 3D. It was okay, but it was a novelty thing. What about cell phones? They're gonna people gonna be watching TV for free on their cell phones. Who's that? Anybody yeah. watch TV for free on their cell phones? Yeah. I mean, is that is that where it's gonna end up at? People gonna be tying their TV, their cell phones to their TV sets that night. I don't know. I'm not that big of a techie. <laughs> uh, uh, that stuff freaks me with this cell phone and stuff. Yeah. I'm an old man. That's all. Okay, the arrows that way.
me again. Another day in paradise.
careful not to bend these things. Didn't use nitrogen. Just two, a couple little connections. It's wired. I gotta tighten it. Thank you. 
That's when the oil starts fractionating in the compressor.
customers say, oh, you just did it last month. Okay, I have uh, 16, 17 pounds suction, 224 head. My evaporator is 17, 20 is good. Um, dryer filter on a new fan, new compressor, and my run load amps is nine, supposed to be 9.5, and I've got 8.8, .8, so we're safe. My Delta T is, across the evaporator, is 21, 20, and that's the air temperature, in and out. And I put a pound and a half, one pound, five ounces of gas in. So I think that's good. So, thank you guys.